Is Kelseth in this deck? Yes. Yes, it is. Played a deck similar to this with Bone Mares and Valinar, quite fun. Yeah, very fun. Very, very fun, man. You can definitely play Bone Mares in this if you want, for sure. Even though the Igneous just dies to his weapon, I still like playing it because next turn I can play one of the Flame Elementals with the Dark Reaper. Is there any scenario where you play a one drop before playing the quest? Probably, right? If, if you're against, like, um... If you're against, like, Pirate Warrior, maybe. Maybe you do it. I mean, if you know 100% you're against Pirate Warrior, you're probably more going to weigh the quest, to be honest. Misdirection, and he's playing that in his deck. Interesting, uh, interesting decision. Corey in the dank, 69420, just subscribed. Thank you very much, Corey. Welcome to the Jackals. Oh my god, can you, can you imagine if Flair destroyed quests? That would be an absolute nightmare. Okay, let's get right now. Any idea what Shaman will look like in the new expansion? Um, I think they're gonna, they're gonna. It's, I think it will slow down. Um, some kind of like Crusher Shaman, I think, could be good. With, like they've revealed the new seven mana Shaman card. I feel like they're gonna make Overload a thing again because Overload isn't really a thing at the moment in Shaman much. I think uh, some we'll see some more Overload stuff. As if he deadly shot and hit the Rhino. Wow. I didn't even notice that happened for a second. Going in for the kill. It's Barnsley Charge Hunter. Someone was top 10 legend with it. Someone was top 10 legend with Barnsley Charge Hunter. Wow. Well, Quest Hunter managed to win a game. Didn't even need the quest. <laughs> Didn't even need the quest. You saw it on show stream yesterday. Wow. Crazy. I mean, they might add one more freeze card to Shaman. I don't think they'd do any more than one there. I'd be very surprised if they add more than one freeze card to Shaman in the new expansion. The Death Knight is really good against a uh, Priest, if he's Rosaka's Priest, that is. Depends what type of Priest he is. I missed the little Binky, did he move in with you? Oh, the, the Pac-Man thing? No, I left him at home. That's bad, man. 
But uh, I'm popping back to Nottingham on like Tuesday, so I'll have to pick them up and bring them back. So I can like put them. I'm gonna get my Mario box as well and my Panda and make it more homely. Will you go to the pr prom with me? Talbot, yes, I would love to go to the prom with you, my man. This deck could use a helmet to help chain the raptors. Ah, oh, smash potato. Thanks for the 100 bits, man. Um, okay, the reason I don't like Hemet is because you only... It's only good in a very specific situation. The only time Hemet is good is right before you've completed the quest. Um, after you complete the quest... I mean, after you play Karnasso, you just can't play it. Because it destroys all your raptors. So... It's... I feel like it's too specific for this deck. And you also can't play it if you, like, haven't completed the quest yet, because you need to draw your one drops. And so if you destroy all your one drops, then you can't, obviously can't, um, do it. So it's, yeah, too situational. I mean, with Earth Elemental and Snow Fury Giant, they already they already have two great targets. New Amulet Thingy, add some more cards like that, and you have a Tempo Shaman. Yes, Tempo Shaman. I'd like to see that. Jackie, ever since you got that beard, you look so fucking good, man. Every time I see you, I get so happy and motivated since you show what some dedication can change. Thanks, man. <laughs> You actually like it? What a what a comment, man. What a comment. I'm gonna read that again. Jackie, ever since you got that beard, you look so fucking good, man. Every time I see you, I get so happy and motivated since you showed what some dedication can change. Thanks, man. Smiley face. Love it. Love it.
If you're playing, uh, if you're playing conquest tournament, generally there's two ways you can go about it. You can either go for a counter strategy, where if you're expecting everyone to bring a certain deck, like say Razakus Priest, you can build your whole lineup to counter Razakus Priest. Um, and so just bring four decks that you think are really good against Razakus Priest, and then you're targeting that deck, and you're going to beat that. Um, another strategy is literally just to bring four good decks, which is pretty good in Conquest. Because in Conquest, you need all of your decks to get a win. So in Conquest, it's harder to bring, like, quirky decks, because, like, in Last of Standing, you can get less punished by bringing quirky decks. Because if you play a game and lose with it, then it just... You don't, you don't have to win a game with it, you just don't play it again. Um... Yes, that is the main difference between uh, Conquest and Lastro Standing. Grandmother's good. I just want some of the good face now. I could just Rhino and push a load of damage to face. We're not pushing that much damage. Oh, we're pushing a fair amount. I'm gonna do it. I wanna be aggressive. I don't wanna give him time to do things. I wanna just kill him. What should my third deck be in Last of Standing if I bring Rosakis Priest and Tempo Rogue? Um, I mean, you gotta kind of, kind of work out what your weakness, the weakness to that lineup is. Um, so if you can think of any deck that both of those decks would lose to, you need to, your third deck needs